All right, uh, today we're working on the E46. Um, I was trying to drive it up to my friend's shop so we could sort out the uh, tune on it. And as you can see, I uh, lost all the bolts to the driver's side axle. Um, I found out the issue was because I thought I could run it like the OEM style and run no lock washer or anything. Um, but the bolts I had on there weren't set up to run like that, so I needed to run a lock washer on it. But now I found all the OEM bolts. I'm just going to run the OEM bolts and replace everything. Um, so I'm going to do it on both sides. So I've got the car jacked up. As you can see, uh, one of the bolts on this axle, I think it's... They add that one there, that bolt twisted. So uh, I've got to cut that one off so I can take it all apart and put all the new bolts in it. So this channel is um, quickly becoming a channel where I just put videos up of installing fucking axle bolts um, on every car because I'm stupid and can't figure out how to put axle bolts in a car and have them stay. But uh, hopefully these OEM bolts actually work. And then I can shake down the rest of the car. Because this thing needs to get back on the road. So I can be fucking done with it. So I can work on other cars. Um, safety glasses. Safety is important around here. And... Uh, these you can sit right there with all the OEM bolts. Um, so let's cut this bolt out and then uh, put the axle back on. This will be like the third video where I just bolt an axle back up. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, pro tip, this may not be what this mat's for, but it does a pretty damn good job of it. So yank that mat out your trunk and uh, and you have somewhere dry or clean to work on. It's pretty great. All right, so uh, as you can see, I had to cut the rest of it off, but this is how bad that bolt had twisted. Um, this axle is pretty much junk, but uh, I know they're kind of hard to get a hold of, so I'm just gonna throw it back in there for now, and um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. So given the shape that the axle's in, uh, I decided kind of the best course of action, given that I can't get it to compress enough to go back on the flange, is uh, just warranty it out again. Um, so I have a new one coming in, it'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be the worst idea to go ahead and pull it off the car. Um, go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna put the car back on the ground and uh, come back to this tomorrow and yeah we'll pick that back up then all right well i got the axle out um like i said i got one warrantied uh so now i'll just wait on that and then put it all back together tomorrow and with the uh oem bolts that i <laughs> already picked up from out um, from, out from under the car uh, we'll use those so they don't back out anymore. And then at some point I'd like to clean up this spare tire delete that I did. It's not uh, not the prettiest thing in the world. All right, uh, I've kind of forgot to record, but I've got the new axle in. Um, I started bolting it up and all but one bolt, well, no, only one bolt was cross threading. So I'm gonna pull all them out and um, Pull the flange out and see what's up with it. Try and uh, fix that real quick. All right, well, uh, it's actually pretty easy to see on the camera. Um, as you can see, I kind of twisted the flange. So there's really no, no saving that. Um, luckily I have a spare, I have a whole spare diff. So I'm just gonna pull the flange out of that and then uh, swap it. And I guess 
try and find a new flange. I don't think it's too hard to get two 10 flanges for BMWs, but we'll see. All right, uh, this is why I keep spare parts, I guess. I have a, uh, a 210 sitting here. It's got good flanges. Um, so now I can throw my car back together tonight. Just gotta pry this flange off. All right, so uh, yeah, this is why I keep spare parts. New driver's side flange. Uh, it's free. Well, it was actually $50. It's off a $50 dip. And so yeah, now uh, just swap the flange out and bolt the axle up, finally. And then I gotta bolt the other side up too. Well, I gotta swap the bolts on it, so. All right, um, got the new flange in. Gonna bolt the new axle up and then uh, replace these too on this side, which shouldn't be too terrible of a job. So we'll get to it so we can get done with this at some point tonight. That'd be nice. All right, so the driver's side axle is finally bolted up. I gotta put the uh, nut on it there real quick and then put the suspension back together and then we'll do. Uh, passenger side and uh, that'll be it for today all right well uh, now that the car is back on the ground that's gonna be it for this video um, this was way harder of a job than it should have been uh, rounded out one of the lug nuts before I could even get started <sighs> drilled out the uh, socket for the lug nuts um, because I realized it was bottoming out on the stud. Since I have a stud swap. Um, so I'm going to take that up to the shop. And drill that out on a drill press. So I can drill it a little straighter and a little farther. Um, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Probably going to be uploading a bunch of this car. Shortly. Uh, I've been doing a lot to it lately, and actually been trying to record doing some of it, so yeah, well, uh, I'll catch you in the next one.